Hey guys, Max LP Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Dark Rising. In the last episode, we made it up to Mystic Falls, and we, uh, we didn't really explore around the town. I did off screen, and I got myself something pretty awesome that I wanted to show you guys. And I was also in this area here because I wanted to tell you guys that, uh, this place here is a fossil place where you can restore fossils. And, um, I think I already did it. Did I already do it? Um,. No, I didn't. But we have the fossil, though, that we have of uh, Chirchuga that we can use. And we can give this to Chirchu give this to this guy here, and he's going to give us our Chirchuga. And it's going to be placed in box one. So, unfortunately, we are going to um, be placing Swampert back into the box and getting out our Chirchuga. But I'm actually looking forward to using this guy um, besides Swampert because we actually... Um, I believe I've used Swampert a lot in other games, and I want to use something a little bit different. Now, unfortunately, this Tortuga is um, level 5. Um, it's Impish Nature, which I believe is um, neutral, so that's really good for us. And no Swiss Swim, which increases my speed in the rain. Um, we don't have a move to increase our speed in the rain, but we do know Water Gun and Roll Out. So what I thought I was going to do is, I think I have a... Ex Opponent share. Yes, I have three of those. So I'm going to give that to Tortuga to hold. And I'm going to make sure that we don't have any on anyone else. None, none, none. Dragon Fang, Ink Spick share, and Sacred Ash. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to leave the Sacred Ash on this person. But you guys saw if you, uh, just paying attention there, I found a Thunderstone and we could, um, buy them in this town. So I'm going to use it on Electric here. And we're going to get ourselves the final evolution of Electric, which I believe is Electros, and I, I've kind of been referring to Electric as Electros pretty much through the whole entire Let's Play, um, whenever it evolved from, um, Tynamo. But now we finally have ourselves our Electros, which I'm so super excited about. Um, we don't have anything else that we can really give anyone that will help us out, so we'll just go ahead and continue like that, but... We should probably take a good look here at our new team member, Electros. Pretty cool, pretty cool. He got some good special attack and attack, so that's pretty good. Um, I believe everything is still the same from the last time that we actually did arrive here. So I wanted to go take on the gym leader, which is that way, I guess. I'm not sure. But I can't do it unless I come down here. Um, I believe I already went in this building here. The fan club. Yeah, I believe I already talked to everybody in the fan club. Um, no? Yeah, I did. Um, somebody gave me something, but I don't remember what it was. I believe it was a bike voucher. So if we do have a place where we can ride bikes, I'll definitely hang on to that and use it. I don't even know. We probably already have a bike, but I actually couldn't continue on unless I went this way. But there was a cutscene, so I decided to go ahead and wait. What the? That was a tremendous quake! Wait, the ship! It appears you're too late for the cruise. How could you do this? All those people inside there! Huh, <laughs> like I care. You seem to be less controlled than everyone else. So tell me, why are you doing this? You said my father left you for dead years ago. What do you mean by that? I was your father's assistant years ago. When Dargus attacked our lab, your father had the chance to save me, but instead he walked out and escaped without me. I w it was my rage, my hunger for revenge, that allowed me to live. Dargus sensed the hatred inside of me and re reawoken the negative energy inside me from the Pandora's box. You monster! Look what you're doing! The entire world is in danger because of you? <laughs> what is it? It does not matter, Amanda. All that matters is my revenge against your father, and soon I will have just that. But it would be better if I eliminate his child as well. Alright. So we can't go on until we defeat this guy, the completely unstable Dark Thug V, who apparently wants to kill our father or something like that. Who knows? But I don't think we have a Pokemon that knows any Dark type moves, do we? I should probably just summary up these guys just to check because it's been a while since I'm playing. Played. We have ghost type, um, ghost type, and that's about it. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna switch into 
Hmm, that would be super effective. So I'm gonna switch into Salamence here. Should not be able to do very much to me. And I'm gonna go with a Shadow Claw that should be super effective. No, it's just normal effective. Probably because it is Ghost type as well. But you're gonna confuse me, so I'm going to speed up my confusion because I don't want to hurt myself. Which I'm going to do because that's just me. I always tend to do that. You know, we have so many items in here. Let's just see if we have anything to help us out. Mm, nope. No awakening. But hopefully we'll wake up in just a minute. Shadow Ball isn't going to do too much to me because I am a Salamence. But I'm going to do a lot to myself though. Because I am still confused. But this time I break through and I actually hit the Shadow whatever. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Dragon Pulse though just for the stab. And I went and hit myself again. Man Salamence you are not doing good. I'm going to use a Super Potion since we have 20 of those. I'm actually probably going to use a lot of those because this guy is going to Dream Eater me. And that's not going to be good. Shadow Ball? Well, alrighty. Um, if he uses a Dream Eater, he's going to kill me. But I gotta take my chances though, because I have to uh, wake up. And when I use Super Potions, I obviously will not wake up. He's going to keep using Dream Eater, so I'm going to continue to heal up. Good thing I have 20 of these, but I feel like when I was at the Mart, I should have got some Hyper Potions. Although I did not. I'm just going to probably have to let Salamence go. Unless we can wake up here. We didn't, so unfortunately Salamence is not going to make it. I'm going to send out Victini here, and uh, let's go with a Sigma Beam. That doesn't do very much. You and the Confused Ray, Spirit Tomb. Come on, buddy. That's enough. No more of that stupid Confuse Ray. And the Hypnosis. That, that's one thing that I don't like about you. You keep using the Confuse Ray and the Hypnosis. And I did forget that Victini is part Psychic type, so that's going to be super effective on us. Luckily we woke up though, and we heard ourselves in the confusion. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we? Because that's my luck. I can't even defeat this guy's first Pokemon. What am I supposed to do? Alright, I'm going to send him to Sharna now. Those leftovers are really hurting me. Why did I use Psychic? I am so stupid. Misclick there. Shadow Ball will be what I need to use. But unfortunately, this Spirit Tomb is going to put me to sleep and Dream Eater me and Shadow Ball me. Of course you are. Alright, Meganium. Looks like you're going to have to try and do it, which you probably won't be able to. A Magical Leaf. Finally taking out that Spirit Tomb. Tortuga grew to level 7, 8. And let's learn Bite. Sure, you can learn Bite. We'll get rid of Bide for that. 9, 10. And I don't know what he said he was going to bring out. Golurk. Well, this should be super effective on it because it is part Brock type, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty good. These guys are way too high leveled. Come on. What do you expect me to do here? I don't know if I'm going to be able to defeat this guy. He knows fly? What kind of ghost type knows fly? That's weird. Well, okay, maybe not weird. Tutuga wants to learn protect. You know what? Whatever. Just get rid of a draw for that. I don't care. He's probably going to end up losing this battle anyway. Desclops. Well, why not? Come on out, Electros. Mm, let's Thunder Wave it first. Because it's going to confuse me, I know. The whole freaking time you've been using those confusion hacks and everything else. That's right, get the Paralyzed, get the Paralyzed, and I snap out of confusion, thank you, and get a critical hit. Now that's more like it. Tortuga is going to grow to level 14. Didn't see what he was sitting out, but it does not matter. I'm going to go ahead and Thunder Wave it. And then I'm going to T-Bolt it. And that's going to do some cool damage, I guess. Pain Split is going to hurt, though, the more that I um, attack this Miss Magius. Luckily, though, we took it out. Miss Magius, Tortuga grew to level 15. Now I will send out Crocodile. Um, I'm not going to be very effective against Crocodile, so I'm going to send in Meganium here. And I'm going to Super Potion Meganium up. He's going to substitute, so I'm going to go ahead and Super Potion again. Now he's going to Earthquake. I'm not going to do very much, so I'm going to do Ancient Power. Didn't mean to do that. But I did get the raise on everything, though, so that should help me out a lot. I'm going to Super Potion again. And then I'm going to Magical Leaf this time, which should be super effective. And the Substitute will fade. He's going to bulk up himself. Increase his attack and defense. But I do have that damage from the um, Ancient Power, so this should be a good game to you, Crocodile. And I guess I will go ahead and stop using Super Speed, because maybe we might have a chance here if we can actually beat him. 
Um, that might have been his last Pokemon, I don't know. Tortuga is gonna grow to level 16 though. And once to learn Slam, sure you can learn Slam. We'll get rid of Protect for that. Basically, I'm not doing much here. Alright, he's got a Haunch Crow. We're gonna poison it. And he's going to probably kill my Beganium. But I'm gonna use one Ancient Power. This Aerialize is gonna kill me, but we can send out Electros though and go for that Thunderbolt and it will definitely take out that Murkrow. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be pretty much dumbfounded if it doesn't. Um, because this thing is a flying type, so and it's poisoned. So either either way it'll probably die to poison damage if it does live. But I know our Thunderbolt is gonna take it out. And I believe that was his last Pokemon, so 900 EXP is not going to do much for us, but Tartaria is going to go level 17, and we defeated Dark Thug V. Pitiful child. I honestly did not think we were going to win that. We can need to do some training. Your efforts to save me are futile. The ship you've come to see has already begun to sink underwater. Don't listen to that guy, Amanda. The ship's under some type of spell. He must defeat the source of the power inside the ship in order to... Um... For in order for the ship to rise again. Right, Florina? Yes, by stepping in that portal over there, you'll be teleported directly to the ship. You must find the source of the power quickly to break the spell. Alright, thanks. <laughs> no matter. You can't possibly defeat Ko. I'll leave everything to him. We will meet again, Amanda. Farewell. Great, he's gone again. Haha, <laughs> time to finish this. Dreadigan, flamethrower. Okay, okay, I give up. Ha, took you long enough. Great job, Florina. Thanks. Nice going there, Amanda. Ha. <laughs> um, could you go inside there and fight those guys? Uh, it's not that I'm scared, it's only that I'll get sick. So, uh, okay. Great, me and Florina will stay here to investigate these two. So good luck. I like this girl. She's like the pink and blue version of May. She is cool. I like her sprite and everything. Uh, we are going to do that, but first we are going to heal up our Pokemons. We took a bunch of damage there. Did I actually fight you guys? I guess I did. No text though. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in here. SS Titanic is where we're going. We're going to step on this portal here, which is going to take us into the SS Titanic. Um, I don't actually know if I want to come in here or not. Those thugs defeated me. What's happening? Alright, so apparently it's only a certain way that we can go. I'll just explore around the ship a little bit. They made us cook. Ooh, present here, which is a great ball already. Ahem, indeed I am le chef. Le main course is salmon du salad. Let's get me gripe its fish again, however. I saw an odd berry in the trash can. wonder what that was. Alright, I'm gonna go look in the trash can then. I only get to peel onions. Alright, find a chesto berry. Did you hear about Snorlax? It's a glutton. glutton. No wonder Pokemon, no other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax does. So this is basically like the SSN. And I got me some berries for that. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. You have to give me room here. Alright buddy, whatever. Alright, so I believe this goes downstairs. And this actually is a hyper potion, which we do need. I'm gonna start right here though. And there's going to be some trainers here, so I'm going to take on a couple trainers here, and uh, then we'll probably end up the episode. I want to make sure that I um, get a couple of trainers, because I don't know how long I've been recording, but I want to make sure that it is um, at least 20 minutes. If not, then uh, I'll probably have to, over have to overcompensate by cutting some stuff, which actually I won't be cutting anything, because... Um, I, well, we need to switch out. Because I didn't run into any wild battles. Actually, Psychic won't do anything, but Shadow Ball will. Doesn't matter, that Staryu is 37. Okay, what's with the level gap here? Horsey, probably low leveled? Yeah, of course it is. That is so weird. We went from like level 50s to level 30s. Interesting. And we got another Sailor here. Oh, I forgot to switch Electros. Oh well. Thunderbolt you. And Shadow Ball you. 
believe that's super effective. Yeah, that's super effective. Alright, Thunderbolt again. Since you decided to use Protect. And that's a good game to you. Tortuga grew to level 20. I actually don't know um, what level Tortuga evolves at. have to probably look it up, but I don't believe you need anything special in order to evolve it. But you know what? We should probably check. Uh, TM44, we can check that out anyway. I don't really see what it was. I believe we have a water stone in here. Don't we? Yeah. Let's see if that works. Um, no. No use. So it does evolve by level, I believe. TM44 is rest. Alright. Nothing new there. I need to teach some of these moves to these guys. Aerial Ace is a really good move. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the only ones that can learn it, though... No. I'll just wait. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. I like feisty kids like you. Oh, we got a Dark Thug. That's who I was looking for, is the Dark Thug grunts. Who are really low level. This is so weird. Ancient Power? Heck yes, you can learn Ancient Power. Uh, we'll get rid of Rollout for that because I probably will never use it. Don't know what he said, but obviously I don't care. They're only level 38. Uh, crock a rock. Alright, I'll switch into Maganium real quick here. Yeah. And Magical Leaf for the win. Papa! Alright, there's an item in here. I want to get it. Ether. Alright, I'm going to switch you. And you. And you. And I think that is going to do it. Yes, yes. Alright. Next room we go. Two more rooms, and then we'll probably end the episode off. I believe we've been going for about 15 minutes. Alright, we got ourselves a Swana here. Level 38, not a problem. Except Mushana is going to be confused and hit itself in confusion, unfortunately. Like always, when I get confused, I hit myself in confusion the very first time. But we are going to go to level 51. Tortuga is going to go to level 52. So, we're going to switch out into Electros again. <clears throat> Ooh, voice crack. I have been recording for a while, so I'm probably getting a little weak. And this is probably going to be my last one that I'm going to record for today. But that's going to do it for the Sailor Die. Tritunia is just growing levels like crazy. Um, Alright, 51, we're going to switch you, and then we're going to switch you, and you're going to stay in the front again. But we're lucky because they are sailors, so. Spark it up. Gonna be super effective. Actually, that's not bad. A level 44 Gyarados. A little bit higher than we are used to seeing. So we're gonna take on this last room here. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Alright. We're gonna pick up this super potion. And that is gonna do it for this floor here. So, in the next episode, we will be starting off right here in this room and we'll continue fighting all of the grunts and the people on this ship the ss titanic so if you liked the video leave a like subscribe to watch more uh dark rising or any of my other let's plays and comments are always appreciated i will see you guys in the next episode of pokemon dark rising